As a division and unit, we are very proud and happy at this opportunity to get to upgrade the use of technology to upgrade the, the drone that we have from a hexacopter to a quadcopter. Now on this advance in technology, as a pilot, it makes it our job easier to handle, operate, and produce results based on what we have done with the drone at present. We are very excited in being given this opportunity to use and handle this drone. The Lands and Surveys Division, or the Surveys and Mapping Division, is really responsible for topographic mapping and cadastral mapping. That's two of its main mandates. With the topographic mapping, we do that by aerial photography, which requires that we get a plane to come and do aerial photography for the whole country. Now, in order for us to do that for small areas, it would not be cost effective. So one of the solutions to that is to actually use UAVs, which people call drones, which we can do mapping of small areas. So we have acquired a drone before, and we are now getting this new drone, and this is really for us to do on-demand mapping of small areas. But you know, development happens all over the country and doesn't happen at the same time. So this will allow us to keep our mapping up to date. This UAV is a special UAV in terms of its length of time that it can fly, but mainly because of the sensors it has. It has a aerial photography sensor, and it also has a LiDAR sensor, which allows us to do a lot of other things just beside physical mapping. We can actually do heighting, right, from the LiDAR data, and that is of very much interest to plenty of our clients, which are surveyors, government institutions, and so on. My name is Colleen Boudou, and I'm an officer at the Surveys and Mapping Division. Data captured from remote sensing and UAV technology or drones as we know it can be utilized in several ways. And two ways in which we do that at the Surveys and Mapping Division is through change detection, which is one of the fundamental usage of this type of um, data captured as well as in the development of our cadastral management information system. So change detection is where we look at specific areas over a period of time. And we have something called a story map, and this can be done use, utilizing geographic information technology combined with the UAV technology and we monitor whatever changes occur, whether it be physically or geologically. And the other project is the Cadastral Management Information System, where we utilize the photography as a base map. Hi, my name is Derek Cornwall. I am a data scientist and member of the Santa Rosa First Peoples community of Trinidad and Tobago. As a data scientist and the community, I think having access to locally uh, relevant uh, imagery, imaging data, would really allow us to, 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 to cut our teeth, if you will, in understanding how these techniques work, you know, maybe explore uh, future developments to these techniques and also to you know, develop locally relevant solutions because not everything that can be done with these data has been done or has been figured out as yet. So there's still a lot of, of potential innovation that yet remains to happen. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and I think having an open data mindset and, and making this data every time it goes up, this particular drone, every time it goes up, you know, all the data that's collected, making that available to the local communities is very, very exciting and something that I, I absolutely look forward to. And I, I am really looking forward to, 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 to future um, projects and future data types that may also come out in this Open Data Initiative. Data has a lot of value, but that value often isn't uh, sort of mined or isn't extracted because either we don't know or we don't see the data from that angle. And therefore, we don't have the right perspective to go after the data to take out the things that we want to do. Part of the ministry's mandate is to grow the ICT sector and to in fact double its contribution to GDP of the country. 
So we're exploring many ways by which we can enable all of the ICT folks in the country to, 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 to come together, whether that's in a virtual way or through common projects, to contribute towards that growth. So our idea is to put as much data out as possible to ensure the data is clean, the data is complete, the data is timely from all, all areas, all types of data, whether that's uh, data based on maps, whether that's data based on Excel spreadsheets, uh, whether that's text data based on policies. We put the data out. We are also starting to put uh, either links to tools or the tools that somebody who is not initiated or not familiar with um, doing data analytics will be able to go and identify uh, where they can find those tools, download it to their computer and then do the necessary work. So what we're hoping will happen is that people will come in, see the wide array of data, start thinking outside the box, start asking themselves how I can present this data differently so the value from the data can be seen, how I can integrate the data and create goods or, or services that are saleable. Right? So we're putting it out there, we're inviting people to come in, we're inviting people to, to manipulate it, create things of value and sell it or utilize it effectively that will generate more ICT business. That way the, our ministry achieves our objective and the country gets the benefit of that open data.